Hi everyone, welcome to the Cracker Interview series. Today we have with us Anshur Sharma. He scored 99.43 percentile in CMAT. He completed his BBA in 2023 and specialized in foreign trade. And uh, first of all, uh, welcome to our video series. And hearty congratulations on scoring 99.43 percentile in CMAT. Maybe you can start with telling us how we ha you have prepared for the CMAT examination uh, to our students. Uh, okay, so hi everyone. So uh, for starting of the CMAT preparation, what I did was so I attempted the pre uh, crack uh, mock which was like available on the site and there I scored decently and then I decided that okay this particular exam is for me and I also purchased the uh, mock series of crack of SRCC so uh, before really picking up the books I just ensured that I look into each and every mock once uh, before attempting or solving any questions and uh, then uh, my strategy was simple I picked one mock idea of SRCC and uh, uh, like solve it thoroughly and afterwards for example I rectified my uh, weak areas which in my case was quant and uh, current affairs so I made sure that I will be practicing uh, of both this section every day. So uh, you practice SRCC mocks or you practice CMAT mocks? Actually I practice both mocks earlier I started with SRCC mocks and later on I shifted to CMAT mocks. So, uh, Anshur, you have given CAT and other MBA examinations also, right? So, what was your CAT percentile? Uh, how did you perform CAT? Uh, so, uh, CAT turned out to be a nightmare for me. I scored 54 percentile in CAT. And uh, I also gave SRCC and my score was for 96 marks. So, you have improved from 54 percentile in CAT to 99.43 in CMAT. So, what is your secret? What, what exactly happened in between CAT and CMAT? Uh, which is the secret of your success? Uh, okay, so if you really look at CART, so CART is a game about attempting the right question. You really don't have to attempt all the questions, but whatever you're attempting, you just have to make sure that it is correct. For uh, CMAT, the level of question is comparatively low, but then you have to attempt, like, uh, for example, 90% of the questions uh, in order to uh, crack it to a good B school. And uh, for me, uh, quant was something uh, which I really uh, hated and I just ensured that uh, here while uh, attempting for CMAT, I fix that up. So uh, CMAT has two extra sections, right? Uh, uh, GK and uh, IND, Innovation and Entrepreneurship, right? So how did you prepare for those sections? Uh, okay, so talking specifically about GK. Uh, so, I watched the uh, video which was available on YouTube of Rafu, GK 500 questions and GK uh, 1000 questions which was like kind of quite helpful. At the same part talking about the current affairs part, so uh, I, I was uh, like reading the windows and other tutorials and uh, talking about entrepreneurship and uh, innovation. Yeah. innovation and entrepreneurship part. So, uh, there are ample contents and since I was also the BB, uh, BB graduate, so it was really helpful uh, to me Like I was having notes and other stuff. So that's how I prepared. So you were mentioning about your uh, BBA course, right? So how helpful was BBA course, let's say in your MBA entrance examinations? Uh, well, I would say that uh, it's kind of quite helpful. Firstly, BBA is a course which prepares you to read a lot. Uh, to you know comprehend a lot at the same time the subjects of uh, for example what I've been taught in BBA are quite, quite aligned with the preparation of CMAT so that really paid me off. Okay great so uh, can you like uh, tell me like uh, each sectional strategy for CMAT? Uh, okay so for quant uh, I started by solving RS Agarwal uh, which was kind of quite basic and uh, apart from this talking about uh, reasoning part so i was using the content which was available on uh, online youtube videos and other stuff uh, for vrc uh, uh, i didn't prepare that thoroughly because i was having a strong vrc uh, especially during my chat so i scored there recently and uh, apart from this as i mentioned for uh, current affairs 
for GK and innovation and entrepreneurship. Uh, I used the material which was available on YouTube, and uh, then I decided to go for the mock test of Krakiu, and yeah, this was how I actually arrived uh, of my position. Okay. So, when did you start taking your mocks, and how many mocks did you take before the examination? Ah, uh, okay. So I started my uh, mock in uh, in the first week of April. And uh, I took around ten mocks. Okay. So while taking the mock, right? So, uh, what is your uh, analysis strategy for the mock, and how do you spend your time between two mocks? Okay. So I use this formula called as ninety ninety. Uh, I decided that uh, if the paper would be, uh, you know, uh, in the line of last year, I would score at least above ninety questions and with accuracy of ninety. So uh, you. This would like jump my score to above three hundred, and that would be uh, uh, easy for me to get into a good base score. So, what what was your score in CMAT, and what was your slot in CMAT? Okay, so my slot was first, and my score was two ninety seven. Okay, closer to your three hundred target. Correct. So, what all interview calls do you have uh, based on your CMAT score? Uh, okay, so. Uh, I am actually targeting finance, and I have an IBM. So you did not tell like how studied between the mocks, right? So what was your, how did you spend your time, and then how did you do the mock analysis, and how did you spend your time between the mocks? Uh, I guess there is nothing much to tell. Uh, like I just already discussed that I use the formula called as 1990, and uh, that. How I was approaching the mock. Uh, so Anshul, uh, while taking the mock, right? Uh, how did you divide your time across uh, different sections? Uh, okay, so for I started with my uh, best part. So for me, it was uh, innovation, entrepreneurship, and later on current affairs. And this, uh, if we like, uh, look at the questions now. So there is this thing that if you make it, you make it. Otherwise, you will not get it. Otherwise, you will not get it. So I use the same approach. I first uh, I gave my target that I end this for this uh, section in let's say thirty minutes, and then eventually move on to BRC and then finally to uh, reasoning and quant. Uh, I I'm kind of like quite stuck in quant, so uh, I decided that I give uh, around forty uh, five minutes uh, to be on a safer side to quant only, and I just make sure I'll be uh, completing all the other sections quickly. Okay, cool. So, did you follow the same strategy across all the mocks, or did you refine your strategy while taking the mocks? Uh, okay, so I test my strategy in the first three mocks, and uh, then I realized that it's paying me off, and eventually I decided to continue it. And even in the uh, exam, I followed the very same strategy. So, you have mentioned that you graduated in twenty twenty three, right? So, you were preparing for all these M M B entrance examination while studying. Right. So, how did you manage your time uh, between studies and your MBA preparation? Uh, okay. So, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I also earlier prepared for CAT, and the preparation of CAT has really helped me out. Uh, I kind of decided that I will give, uh, let's say, one hour or couple of hours to see my things. It's quite an easy exam. I just have to ensure that I am approaching in uh, in a right way. So yeah, this was uh, how I actually managed to uh, go for CMAT. So you have uh, scored around fifty-four percent in CAT, right? So how did you motivate yourself for the uh, upcoming MBA entrance examinations post your CAT score? Uh -huh. Okay, so to be honest, we all know that fifty-four is quite a miserable score. Fifty-four uh, percent is quite a really uh, miserable percent. So uh, I just like ensured that this time, uh, whichever exam I am giving. I'll be focusing uh, completely full. I just like structured my uh, preparation this time for SRCC as well as for CMAT. Correct. So you have scored around 196 in SRCC, right? So I think you did well in both CMAT and SRCC. I think you did well post CAT, right? I think that concludes our interview. So you, do you have any final takes for our students who are preparing for MBA entrance examinations and uh, maybe CMAT in particular? I would like to like say this. that not every exam is being uh, for everyone 
uh, you just have to ensure and you just have to identify that which exam really works for you and for me it was imart and it really did pay me out okay cool great thank you anshul for giving this interview and all the best for all your interviews and thank you so much thank you so much